Praise the Lord again, and God bless you. Thank you for being with us today on our Midday Manor. Ten minutes in the Word of God just to bless your noonday hour. Uh, we thank God for you uh, being with us on today. Continuing in the letters of Paul, continuing in the book of 1 Corinthians, we're going to look at chapter number 13 today, coming right up. <laughs> Again, we thank God for you being with us today. Comment, like, subscribe, share is to your heart's delight. Uh, this message with someone you can catch it on Facebook. If they're not on Facebook, you can uh, catch it on YouTube or Instagram as well, wherever you may be. Also on uh, Twitter, Amen. But we thank God for you being with us today for our ten-minute midday matter. Reach out to us. Comment. Let us know you're there. Say praise the Lord. And we say praise the Lord to you on today. Today we're in 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. Very popular scripture. Uh, I always call it a deacon scripture. <laughs> Amen. Uh, thank God for him. And um, we're just going to hop right on into it. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, or say charity in King James Version, we're in the English Standard. ESV, <clears throat> if I have not love, I'm a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge and I have all faith, so as so to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant. Or rude, it does not insist on its own way, it's not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As far as prophecies, they will pass away. As far as tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then shall I know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three. But the greatest of these is love. <clears throat> Amen. Again, a very popular scripture. Got plenty of time today, I believe, but... Um, we look at it, of course, as we've said in the previous 12 chapters that, uh, the Corinthian church was a high and mighty thinking church. They were comparing themselves to each other, had, had divisions among them and cliques and all these things. And then, um, you know, but while overlooking some of the major sins that was going on in their midst, but also Paul is following up chapter 12 in which he is talking about spiritual gifts. So evidently the manifestation of gifts and spiritual gifts were in the congregation and they were wanting and reasoning and wrote a letter to him to understand uh, what is the meaning of it. And Paul, by the inspiration of God, explained that to him. And of course, that would be an open opportunity for them to start to compare each other. I prophesy, I have knowledge, I have this. So he said, look, you can covet those things, but covet those spiritual gifts. Ain't nothing wrong with wanting God's presence and his power to be manifest among yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. But he said, I'll show you at the end of chapter 12 a more excellent way. And that leads us into this discussion of love. No matter, in summary, no matter what you do, if you don't do it with love, it don't matter with anything. And um, so he talks off. He said, you can speak in tongues. And with the tongues of men, of angels. But if you ain't got love, you just like somebody banging on a cymbal or a gong. Uh, it doesn't do any any good. Uh, he goes on to talk about I can uh, have the prophetic powers. These gifts I just talked about. These mysteries. No mysteries. Some people can uh, uh, speak the word of prophecy. Some people can uh, elaborate and understand the deep riches of the word of God and pull out things that uh, most people may not. Uh, some people just have knowledge. 
Some people have faith. They can pray and make things happen because their belief level is so high and they can move mountains. But he said, if you don't have love with those things, uh, it don't give you a right to boast anything. He says, I am nothing. You can give all you have. A lot of people give to foreign countries and try to make themselves feel good. Um, you can be a martyr. Um, if you have love, don't have love, uh, nothing is gained by it. And so he goes on to say love is patient and is kind, uh, meaning that it's peaceable, meaning that it uh, it endures a lot of things. It, it waits for things. Things may not be going right. Your marriage may not be as exciting as you want it to be, but you're patient. You're, you're, we just been talking about marriage this month, but, um, you know, people can, can do you wrong, but you're patient and you're kind. Uh, it doesn't envy. It doesn't want, uh, what somebody else want or have hatred for somebody else because of what they have or who they are. Uh, and it doesn't boast. Um, it's not arrogant. Um, uh, and it's not rude. If you love, you don't, you don't uh, have to always have your way. It isn't something that if you love me, you should do. Uh, if you love me, you got to do it this way. You love me. No, it's not prostitution. It's it's love. It doesn't have to have its own way. It doesn't have to seek you do this for me to love you. No, love overall is something that's there just because. Your kids don't do right, you still love. Uh, your kids don't make the same. They go to a different college than you ins insisted on them going to. Uh, you still love. You don't have to have your way. It's not irritable. It's not uh, resentful. <clears throat> love doesn't laugh at wrongdoing. It doesn't uh, celebrate you doing wrong. Uh, but when you do right is when it rejoices. Uh, it bears all things. It believes all things. I uh, hopes all things, endures all things. It's an optimistic, uh, you want to say emotion? It's an optimistic characteristic. Love is deeper than emotion, but it's an op optimistic trait to have. It will endure when other people, they strung out on something, it's going to endure. It's going to believe for a better day. It's going to have hope because it, it, it loves. Love will, will, will override whatever's going on. Marriage may be struggling right now. It ain't where you want it to be. You feel like it ain't this, that, and the other. But it 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 hopes for a better day. Your children are 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 not where you want them to be. But it hopes that they will turn their lives around. Uh, the things you do for God may not be re yielding results you thought they would. But you hope and believe and bear because you love Him, and you're going to continue to live for Him. Um, and so it never ends. Uh, all these things that you're striving for, the prophecies, the tongues, the knowledge, all of that's going to pass away. And you ain't got to die for it to happen. Uh, we can get old, we can get sick, we can get all these things. Things happen. Uh, it could be a season uh, where these things are coming through through you because the source is a spirit and it moves as it will. Um, and so all these things can pass away. But he says, we, we know in part and we prophesy in part. Meaning, uh, you can have knowledge, but you may not have the full knowledge. You can prophesy, but you, you might be, don't even know who the prophecy is for. Or you don't know what it means or how far it is or, or what. You can just say something that God told you to say. It may mean just the, the, the littlest thing to you. And it may be something that God inspired you to do. But the next thing you know, uh, God is blessing somebody because they were obedient to what you said. And that's where, you know, but you didn't know what was going to happen. You didn't know why God put that thought on your mind or that, that word or that thing for that person. Uh, even if it gets that clear of who it's for, you still don't know the full story. Uh, so it's all in part right now. But then when the perfect thing, all this perfect comes, the partial will come, will pass away. And so he, he and this was a loaded statement, not just for love, but for this church and for these people. Church is the people. Church is the people, not the address. And so he says, look, when you're children, you, you act like a child. You think like a child. You thought uh, you reason like a child. But he said, man, now that you're a man, you got to give up childish way childish ways because we we 
everything we're doing right now is dimly. It's just we're doing it in faith. We're doing it in hope. We don't really see the full picture, but eventually there's going to come a day when all things shall be fully known. We're going to, somebody say we'll understand it better by and by. There's going to come a day, whether it's by and by or whether it's next week. We might act on something dimly this week, but then feel um, the the fullness of it next week. But nevertheless, that's how we operate. And so when you get into it and you get to the bottom line, if you have faith, if you have hope and then love, uh, you got to understand that the greatest thing that you can have is love. And love covers a multitude of sins. Love is there in all of its phases and whatever names you have for it. Love is the greater thing to have. Amen. Amen. I always love this chapter. Very popular scripture. You, and I bet you somebody's heard it at a wedding or something somewhere. And truly abiding by it will give us a better life and better understanding of who God is. Amen. Again, we thank you for being here and making it this far. We thank God for you. Don't forget to share it with somebody. Don't forget to uh, copy the link off of YouTube and put it in an email or or a message or FaceTime, I don't, you know, however, just let somebody be blessed by the word on today. We thank God for we bless you. Pray for you. Pray for me. I pray for you. And together we're going to watch God change things. God bless you in the name of Jesus.